In this video, I'll show you how to change WooCommerce out of stock message using two different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and this is the default WooCommerce out of stock message, right? So I'm going to show you how you can change it from this to something like this or whatever um, text or message you want to add here, okay? So as I mentioned, we'll be using two different methods. So one, we'll be editing the code and then two, we'll be using the WooSuite lead time plugin, okay? So you can head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooSuite lead time plugin, okay? I'll leave the link in the description below and with that said, let's head over over to our dashboard and let's get started okay so we'll start with the plugin version first and then we'll move on to the code okay so assuming you've downloaded the we suite lead time plugin go ahead and upload and install that plugin so we just go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this we suite menu here activate your license key and then it will automatically redirect you to this add-ons section here Okay, so just scroll down to where it says lead time and then just make sure you've enabled this option, okay? So with that said, we can navigate to the lead time setting so we can click manage or you'll see the lead time menu here, okay? So we've got a few options. So we can decide where we wanna display the lead time. For example, we can show it on the product page, cart page, checkout page, and the shop and category page, and also on the order details as well. And then we can choose the condition for when we wanna display this lead time message, okay? So we can enable this option here where it says out of stock products. So we'll display this message for out of stock products, right? So we can say something like deliver in, and then we can specify the number of days, right? So we can say basically the products out of stock. Okay, so we're essentially saying for products that's out of stock, maybe we'll say we'll deliver it in maybe 20 days, right? Because this is when we'll um, get our new stock in, okay? And we can specify the units. So we can say days, weeks, or months, okay? So the message will read deliver in 20 days, okay? So we just hit save changes. Okay, and now when we refresh this page, we'll see our custom lead time message, okay? Okay, so here we can see this particular product will be delivered in 20 days, right? So if we want it as well, so if we view the category page, it'll make sense to show that message here as well. I'm gonna head back over to our settings and I'm gonna also display that message on the shop page and also on the order details page as well. So the customer is fully aware that this particular item won't be delivered until X amount of days, right? It just helps to manage expectations, okay? So I'll just save changes. And then when we refresh this page, okay, here you can see that this particular product will be delivered in 20 days, okay? So we're just letting customers know upfront that this is the um, number of days that this particular product will be delivered in, okay? Um, and then finally, Okay, so we can also customize the message based on the particular product, right? So let's say, for example, if we click on this particular product here, and then if we edit this product, let's say we know that um, typically it takes um, maybe 30 days for us to restock on this particular product. Then in that case, we'll just click on where it says lead time here. Okay, and then just like um, on a global level, we can say it'll be ready or delivered in. Then we'll add the value here so we can say 30 days okay and then we can save changes and then this change will override at the global level okay so if we view products now okay here we can see it'll be ready in 30 days and it's the same on the category page as well okay ready in 30 days Okay, so that's how you can customize the out of stock message using the WooSuite lead time plugin. Now I'm going to show you how you can um, edit it using a bit of code. Okay, so we'll head over to our dashboard. We've got a few locations in where we can add this custom code. Okay, so first off, when changing any code, I personally recommend backing up your website. Okay, just in case anything goes wrong. So we've got a few options. So we can add the code in our theme functions PHP. Um, ideally, you'd want to do it in a child theme, right? Because if you update that particular theme, then all the changes that you make will be gone. Or you can use a custom snippet plugin, okay? So you can just go to plugins, add new, and then just search for any custom snippet plugins, okay? Okay, so I've already got one installed called Code Snippet. We can just click on add new since I've got it open in a new tab. I'll just click on this tab here. Okay, and then when, you, when you're adding a snippet, you can just give it a name, it's just for internal purposes, just so you know exactly what the code's doing, right? Okay, and then here I've got this bit of code here, which will help us change um, the outer stock message, okay? So the main thing you wanna change is here where it says text, 
just changes to your custom um, message okay so for example here i've just said back in stock soon okay and then for this else tag if you delete these slashes then whenever a product's in stock okay you can add a custom message so you can say um, ready now or whatever it is okay but i'm just going to leave this commented out because we only want to change the outer stock text okay so then we'll just go ahead and hit save changes and activate and then this should display our custom outer stock message okay so now when we view this particular product when we navigate to the product page here you can see our custom um, outer stock message right again for the code snippet i'll leave a link um, in the description below to the article which includes the code okay and that's how you change the stock availability text in woocommerce in just a few simple steps as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible